Hey CEO, just one more sleep until you can officially get your hands on the Redeem Her Time planner. I don't know who is more excited, me or those of you in the Redeem Her Time community who've been waiting for this. Probably a little bit of both, right? So before you click add to cart this time tomorrow, November 12th, I want to take a few minutes to not only share the story behind creating the Redeemer Time Planner, but also to share how this is unlike any other planner you've ever tried or seen and how it's actually more than just a planner. You see, this is the untime management tool that you need to shift everything about how you approach time and the ROI that you see in every area of your life and business. That's because where you are now is a direct result of how you've spent your time up till now, which is actually good news because that means that where you will be 12 months from now will be the direct result of how you spend your time from now until then. And girl, with God, there's always an abundant ROI. Why? Because he is the exceedingly abundantly be all beyond all that we can ask or imagine kind of God. To him be the glory. Amen? So be sure to stick with me till the end today, because I am going to give you the launch day discount code, plus a sneak peek at what you can win when you shop on launch day. And yes, you can and should share this episode with a business bestie or two, or better yet, more than just a few. Because like I said, this is more than just a planner. So do you want to hear why? Good. I'm Lisa Figgins, the Untime Management Strategist and creator of the Redeem Her Time Planner. And my mission is to help the go-getter Christian women like you to increase the ROI on your time, to grow your impact and income in less time for his glory. Wait, you might be asking, what's a CEO? Are you talking to me? Yes, I'm so glad you asked. I have redefined CEO as a Christ-empowered operator. So whether you're running a business, a ministry, a household, or just running through life, and you want to be faithful and fruitful with your time, then yes, I am talking to you. Why? Because I used to be right where you are. Now, maybe you've heard my story, or maybe you're new around here. So let me first dispel any myths that I was born this way. I was actually born as an overachiever. And yes, I lived that way for most of my life. I was the A student who always did her homework, always raised her hand, always turned in her work early, and the one who wrote assignments in her assignment notebook after she did them, just for the satisfaction of checking that box. Am I alone? I always do the extra credit, because extra is always better, right? In fact, I did so much extra that I graduated from high school with a 5.2 GPA on a five-point scale. Now, I have no idea why my school did not use a 4.0 scale like everyone else, but regardless, I maxed it out and then some. Then I moved on to college where I got straight A's, only pulling one all-nighter in all of college to finish a big project because I always planned ahead, except for that one, apparently. And then I got hired for my first teaching job before I even graduated from college in a very affluent community on the North Shore of Chicago where I had to be on the top of my game. And that was in the days before laptops. So I stayed late in my classroom, running laps between my bulky desktop and the copy machine down in the office. Then I got married, soon had three kids. And right before my youngest turned one, I found myself as a solo parent because my hubby deployed to Afghanistan for the first of many times. So I was left at home, running a household, running kids around, running a homeschool, running a ministry, running a business, running to the store, eventually running for exercise and fun. And let's just say I was always running, but I always felt behind. Go figure. You see, I couldn't not be doing at all times. Sitting still felt like wasting time when there were people to see and things to do and boxes to check. And although I had not yet been introduced to the Enneagram, I was clearly a one who always wanted to be the reformer. I prefer that description over being the perfectionist that most Enneagram descriptions call my type. I always wanted to do things well, and I couldn't let good enough be enough. And that was the problem. I was always running because I was chasing my not enoughness. My time was not enough. My doing was not enough. I was not enough. You see the progression? I was the poster child for busyness, multitasking to the max, getting up early, staying up late, and forever chasing the clock, the calendar, 
and my never ending checklist that just to seem keep growing. I was always doing, and I was working really hard, especially as a business owner, but I wasn't really seeing the results. You see, I had a busyness. Do you know what a busyness is? It's where you have a business and your calendar is full of meetings, networking events, workshops, and webinars, and your to-do list is full of writing posts and sending emails and showing up on all the platforms. And of course, you're reading the books, listening to podcasts, and buying courses, but you're not seeing the fruit you're praying for, especially when you look in your bank account. You see, a busyness with a why asks the question, why am I doing all this work and why am I not seeing results? But a busyness with an I is one that's growing in two areas that also start with the letter I, your impact, the number of people you serve, and your income. Because when your name is on someone's credit card statement, that is when you're truly able to impact them at the deepest level. And the income follows that kind of impact, right? The problem was, I thought I was doing all the things a good business owner should do and that I'd been told to do by all the gurus. In fact, I even was started posting eight to 12 times a day because of someone that I spent hours listening to. What was I thinking? No wonder I had no time. But all the while I was sacrificing my relationships with those I said mattered most. And I had sadly lost touch with myself because I was too busy. Let me just tell you, living that way was exhausting. Hence why my body started to keep the score. But of course, I ignored the signs it was sending me to slow down because who has time when you've got the world to make a better place, right? It started with those twinges of guilt. When I was working in my business, I felt like I should be with my family. When I was with my family, I was thinking about things I could be doing in my business. Have you ever experienced that tug of war? Well, I just ignored the guilt that I wasn't being a good wife or mother or a good business owner or ministry leader. Essentially, the sad part is that I was not fully present and no one and nothing was getting much of me. So in true Alyssa fashion, I just kept pushing past what my mind was telling me. And then it moved into my body. It started with a knot in the pit of my stomach, then spread to tension in my neck and shoulders and eventually to a ball in my throat, which at first I completely ignored because who has time for that? Now, I did eventually try chewing my food more and drinking more water, hoping that would be the fix, but it wasn't. And it wasn't until I realized that ball had been there for over a year that I started to get concerned. Maybe there was something growing in my throat that if I didn't give my attention one day, it would demand my attention. And we all know that putting things off will always cost more down the road, right? More time, more money, more stress, more frustration. So I promised my besties I would go see a specialist and make an appointment. I explained to him I was totally healthy and a health coach at the time, mind you, which he had never heard of before. And I had been taking pristine care of myself and I could see no reason for what was going on other than the fact that I had had a thyroid cancer scare several years back and I'd been too busy to go find a new doctor to check on it after we moved. So this specialist tried medication, dietary changes, even a scope. Then he sat me down in his office and with a serious look on his face, he said, Lissa, there is no physical reason that you should feel a ball in your throat. In fact, I've put a camera down there and I've looked, there is no ball in your throat. You have hystericus globus. And then he sat there with a smirk on his face. Uh, what is hystericus globus? I asked leaning in. Globus, like a globe, means ball. You have a sensation of a ball and hystericus and he started swirling his finger next to his head, signaling crazy. And he said, that's where they get the word hysterectomy because they thought women were going crazy in midlife. He said, Lissa, it's all in your head. You have anxiety around all the things you're doing, and I'm happy to give you a pill. Now, it was in that moment that I knew that I knew that I knew that a pill might make me feel better for a while, but it was not really going to fix the problem because it went much deeper than just my throat. My problem? was that I was so busy chasing all my not enoughness. I had a heart problem. My heart was chasing after a lot of lesser things and never able to catch up to where I thought I should be. Can you relate? Now, I wish I could say everything changed in an instant. It didn't because I had created a lot of busyness habits and ways of thinking in both my life and my business. But everything did change in that moment. And I started to look at my time, my life, and my business differently. And it was shortly after that, when a book showed up on my doorstep from Amazon with a card that read, 
I hope I didn't offend you. Love, Dad. That book was called The Ruthless Elimination of Hurry by John Mark Comer. And it was in that book that I learned that my busyness was not a disordered calendar. It was a disordered heart. I was chasing after all the wrong things to do enough, to feel good enough, or to be enough. But it only left me feeling not enough. And when God finally got my attention and I stopped ignoring the signs and I started noticing how the way I spend my time was affecting every area of my life and business. And then when I learned to slow down, to let go of control and trust him with my time, well, I can honestly say I have discovered I really do have all the time I need for what he has called me to, which is not busyness or a busyness. So why do I share all of this with you today? Because you may hear some of your story in my story. You may be chasing not enoughness. You may be doing instead of being. You may be managing the minutes and missing the moments. I want you to know you are not alone. And here's what you need to hear. No matter how loud that voice in your head says, there's not enough time. The truth is you have time. And the ROI, aka the results you see, all come down to how you approach time. In your faith walk, in your relationships with family and friends, in the growth of your business, career, or ministry, in your financial resources and time, in your wellness, your passions, even how you care for your dwelling, the eight areas of attention. How do I know? Because when I finally slowed down enough to really see those around me, I noticed that women everywhere were on the busyness hamster wheel too. Always wearing busy like it's a badge of honor and feeling like the more boxes we check, the more productive we feel and the more valued we think we are. Except all of them and me, we were missing out. And maybe you are too. That is why my mission is to help busy, go-getter Christian women business owners to shift everything about how they approach time and no longer think they're going to increase their ROI by chasing that clock, that calendar, or that checklist. But instead, by slowing down and building a life and business with God and learning to redeem their time. Redeemer Time was literally born sitting in the pew out of Ephesians 5, 15 through 16, which says, look carefully how you live, not as unwise, but as wise, redeeming the time because these are difficult days. Amen. Anyone else got some difficult days with lots of roles, responsibilities, and requests on your plate with more duties, demands, and distractions than you can handle? Yep, me too. And right now you may be asking, Lissa, What exactly does it mean to redeem my time? Well, to redeem your time means to steward it in a way that glorifies God and builds his kingdom. And I love how the Passion Translation says Ephesians 5, 15 through 16, take full advantage of every day as you spend it for his purposes. That's the difference between just managing time, like all those experts tell us to do, aka keep it under control, which let's be honest, is exhausting and fruitless because you simply can't keep it all under control and you're constantly playing a game of whack-a-mole that you will never win. Picture that manager at a fast food restaurant. They're running around, right? Trying to keep everything and everyone under control and it's exhausting. No wonder they're ready to clock out. Have you ever felt like that? There's a lot of fear in managing because you're always chasing the lack and trying to keep something from getting away. And here's the thing, as long as you keep managing your time, You're literally putting a cap on your results because it all depends on you keeping it under control. But stewarding time, like God instructs us to do, which means to invest the resources entrusted to you and expand them according to the intent of the owner, girl, that takes the pressure off because it's not all on you and it doesn't belong to you anyway. But it does help you slow down and intentionally make wise choices and think about the bigger purpose behind your time, doesn't it? That, my friend, is not being hands down, it's being hands up. And that way, there's no limit to what you can do, especially when you're trusting it into God's hands. Picture the two servants in the parable of the talents, the ones who didn't bury what the master gave them out of fear, but who by faith in the one who gave it to them, went out and invested their talents to expand his kingdom and got double the ROI. What did those servants hear when they saw what they'd been given as an abundant gift for a purpose greater than them? They heard, well done, good and faithful servant. You've been faithful with little. Now you'll be entrusted with more. Enter into the joy of your master. I don't know about you, but that is what I want to hear one day. 
well done with the time and life and business I've entrusted to you. And faith, you have stewarded it well, and it will have a ripple effect well beyond you. You see, as a CEO, as a Christ-empowered operator of your God-given life, business, ministry, when you put faith at the center with God, you will always see an abundant ROI on your time. And isn't that what you want too? To see the impact of your time in both the here and now and the eternal? That, my friend, is exactly why I've created the Redeem Her Time Planner. So that way, you can have the untime management tool you need in your hands to redeem your time and to increase your ROI for his glory. But I got to warn you, this is not like the cute planner you're going to find in the office aisle at Target. That's because this planner is not just going to rightly order your calendar, but more importantly, rightly order your heart. And it's the only planner on the planet that comes with a personal coach because it concludes the Redeem Her Time Digital's Essential Course, valued at over $497. And this free course is going to walk you step-by-step through how to shift what you believe about your time, the role you have with your time, plus the way you invest your time to go from productivity to purposivity. And it also comes with access to the Redeem Her Time community, where you can come ask questions and find that you are not alone as you navigate these difficult days. And you need to know, around here, we are not about just getting through another day or checking another box. We are about living today in light of that day, when one day we will spend eternity with God, when there won't be any clocks or calendars or checklists to chase, let alone to even think about. So in the meantime, in the already but not yet, let me show you how to approach time as an abundant gift, not a limited resource to manage, that is what God has entrusted to you to steward. So are you ready to shift everything about how you approach your time and increase your ROI, both here and now and for eternity? Then girl, you're going to want to get this planner because inside the Redeem Her Time Planner, you'll be able to access my With God Life and Business Framework to redeem your time. Not like the world does by cramming more into the minutes to get more of what you want, but in a way that slows down and invests wisely in what matters most in this season. Now, if you've been listening to the podcast over the past few weeks, I've given you several glimpses inside and how we'll start with a bigger with God vision in those eight areas of attention. And then I will pay attention to where you are with the balance assessment, then create intentions that actually stick because they're sticky using my formula. Then we'll dedicate to your top priorities and map out your plans to get more done in 12 weeks than most people get done in 12 months. Girl, how does that sound? I'm here to tell you your life and business and your faith will never look the same. Sure, we're going to plan out our days, our weeks, our months, our seasons, our year, but I've also intentionally built in what I call Selah pauses to prompt you to rest, reflect, and reset on a daily, weekly, monthly, seasonal, and annual basis before you jump into what's next. This is where you and I are going to do what most people don't or won't, and that is to think deeply about your time and about the ROI you're seeing. And we're going to keep coming back to that with God vision of where he's calling you to grow in the eight areas of attention. So that way they don't get left in the dust of the busyness of life. Girl, you have time. So do you want to go on a 12 month journey to redeem, redeem your time together with me? Good. Me too. You can right now go check out the redeem her time planner at redeemhertime.com forward slash planner. Better yet, go ahead and put it in your cart on November 12th and literally check out so that way you can jump into the Redeem Her Time Essentials digital course while you wait for your planner to arrive. And I promised you launch day fun. So here's the deal. When you shop on launch day, November 12th, enter code launch day 2024, all one word to get 20% off. And did I mention that shipping to the US is all on me? That code again is launch day 2024. And yes, I will stick it in the show notes. You're also going to be entered in the launch day drawing that's happening at 8 p.m. Central Time, where you could win surprise gifts with your order, an Amazon gift card, or a VIP coaching day with me. Plus, did you know that 10% of all Redeem Her Time sales go to supporting Compassionate Hands? That's an organization I partnered with in Central Asia that provides supplies and salaries and seeks to build life-on-life -life relationships in order to share the gift of salvation through Jesus with those who don't yet know him. 
So yes, a portion of your planner purchase goes directly to that. And here's a fun bonus I've kept completely secret up until right now. If you are a business owner at checkout, you're going to be given an opportunity to grab my CEO impact bundle with four key resources to help you build a business, not just a busyness and increase your ROI for the glory of God. The CEO impact bonus is going to help you identify where to focus your time. So that way you're no longer distracted by all the shiny objects or random tasks that waste time. And instead grow your impact and income in less time. That CEO Impact Bundle includes a Whip God Business Vision Guide and Coaching Video, the CEO Foundational Decisions Guide, a Streamlined Business Building for Growth Checklist, and a one-on-one -on -one CEO Business Vision Coaching Call. This does not matter if you're new in business or you've been doing business for years. These are essential things that you need to make sure you have in place if you want to grow a business that is increasing in impact and income. Girl, with a planner and the CEO Impact Bundle, you are going to build a with God business that exceedingly goes beyond all you could ask or imagine for his glory. How does that sound? I don't know about you, but that's the kind of life and business that a daughter of the king should have. Don't you agree? And yes, like I said before, you can and should share this episode with a bestie, a business bestie or two, or more than a few, because who doesn't feel busy these days and think they just need to be better at managing their time. But in fact, that's the problem. And I have a feeling because it's what I've been praying for, that you will be changed because of this planner. And I can't wait to see God do exceedingly abundantly beyond all any of us can ask or imagine for his glory. Amen. So what do I hope you take away from today's episode? That if I can go from a busyness to a business, you can too. That you are not called to just manage your time out of fear, but to steward your time by faith. And that this Redeem Her Time Planner is the untime management tool that will help you do all of that. Plus, I hope you're excited for lots of perks plus discounts when you shop on launch day, November 12th. Plus, having an opportunity to impact women on the other side of the world, girl, that's priceless. So what are you waiting for? Oh yeah, you're waiting for launch day. So in the meantime, come join us inside the Redeem Her Time community, where you're going to want to hang out with the other planner girls anyway, and tell us, what are you most excited to see God do in the next 12 months in your life or business? I can't wait to cheer you on and pray for you and get this planner in your hands. So right now, before you think you'll remember and don't, set a reminder on your phone for 10 a.m. Central Time on November 12th and call it Launch Day 2024, all one word. So that way you've got the discount code handy. Then when it goes off, just head to redeemhertime.com forward slash planner or click the link in the show notes to grab yours. Because girl, I have a feeling they are going to sell out fast. But before you go on to whatever else needs your time and attention between now and then, may I pray over you, this planner, and the lives and businesses that will be impacted by it? Oh, God, I cannot believe that this day is just one day away. And Lord, I thank you for your faithfulness. I thank you for how you've been patient and faithful with me when I was too busy to even notice what you were trying to tell me. Lord, I thank you for how you have showed me that you call us as your daughters to not just manage our time, but to steward it, to not always be rushing past um, in order to chase the minutes, but to be slowing down in order to embrace the moments. And God, I pray for this woman listening today, wherever she is in her journey, whether she's feeling a little busy or a lot, whether she's got a dying business or a thriving one, God, I pray that she would just be, uh, her faith would be restored in you, that she would see her time, her life, her business as this valuable resource that has been entrusted to her and her role to be a steward of it. And God, we want to steward it with open hands by faith and watch you do exceedingly abundantly beyond all that we could ask or imagine for your glory. Lord, I just pray over all those who will get this planner in their carts tomorrow and in the days to come. Lord, I pray that as it arrives, that it will shape hearts, that it will shape calendars, and it will shape lives and businesses and ultimately build your kingdom. God, I can't wait to see what you're going to do. And we give you all the glory in advance. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, friend, I'll see you over inside the Redeemer Time community. We'll talk more about this. Thanks for joining me for this episode. And until next time, remember, instead of chasing time on the clock, trying to control it, receive the gift of time from the one who truly holds it. Because as his daughter, you have time. <laughs>